Hey everybody, it's Aaron here from TheGameReact.com. Here we are today back in Tunic going for the well done achievement. This is to make 15 wishes. This is going to require that you find 15 of the golden coins. Currently there's going to be 17 known to exist in the game and we're going to have to find them. So this is going to be another collectible based achievement. We're going to start out in the starting area, make sure you head up the staircase and then we're going to meet back up at the first save point at the top of the stairs. Once you are here, we're going to look for the first one in this direction by heading down this flight of stairs, across the drawbridge, across these shrubs, and then right next to the windmill. We're going to take this ladder down to the area in front of the old house, past the old house teleport, and then down over to the waterfront right here. So take the ramps down, and then once you see the water, make sure you follow it along until you can turn right here. Make sure you go past the fountain and then we're going to keep going until we hit the spiral staircase. You want to make sure you go behind the staircase and then right here behind the tree line is going to be this stairwell that takes you down into this underground building. At the foot of the stairs is going to be a chest. Make sure you open it up and then inside is going to be your first coin. We're going to hold on to it until we have 15 coins simply because we can knock out the achievements once we have all of them at once. So make sure you just move on to gold coin number two. This one is going to be located nearby by heading down the flight of stairs, turning at the place where you would normally find the key to the old house, taking the ladder down and then following the beach behind the waterfall until you get to the other side of the water, and then continuing to follow the beach down until we get to our treasure chest on the other side of this bridge right here. And then once we open it up, we should be good for gold coin number two. On to the next gold coin, you want to make sure you stay on this elevation. So just make sure you stay on the beach and then take it back, back behind the waterfall. And this time, instead of taking the ladder to go back up, make sure you stay on the water level. And then we're going to take this underneath the bridge and then wrap around this cliffside right here. You're going to get to a set of islands right here. Now, bare minimum, you're going to need to have at least the grapple in order to try to go for these. Normally, you would just take out the turrets and then they would leave behind these little tuning fork things, which you can use your grapple to get across. However, if you have the dash, you can just skip past them. So just make sure you just get to this lone island all by itself and make sure you open up the chest on it and you should find the next coin inside. Now, once we have that one taken care of, we're going to head back to where the windmill is. Quickest way to get there is to head over to the wall. Make sure you take the ladder up. Use your grapple to get on to this place. And then make sure you either dash or grapple back across onto the mainland. And then we can take the ramps up to the area in front of the old house, which is going to allow us to take the ladder back up to the side of the windmill. Now, instead of heading back to the starting area, we're going to go behind the windmill. So make sure you take this way, either dash or or use the bridge to get across and then we're going to have the hole that takes us underground. We are going to hop on inside so make sure you take the ladder down and then once we are beneath the well we're going to follow this very specific path in order to get to the next collectible. So take the ladders down until you're actually in the well. Once you hit the water you're going to make a big u-turn right here to go through this door. Once you are in this room there's going to be a safe point right here. Feel free to use it if you want to but we're going to head into the room behind it. You're going to want to head down here. Hopefully you can either dash across or use the bridge, but you're going to go into this room in the corner. Take the ladder up right here. Try to clear out all the enemies, but once everything is taken care of, you want to stand in front of this door, hold the A button, and that should pop it open, allowing you to get access to this secret area. And then once you are in here, you're going to be directly above the area with the save point. So make sure you wrap around it. And then directly behind that is going to be this chest with your next golden coin. Now, before we leave, there is actually going to be another golden coin underneath the well. So we're going to take this way back into the previous room. Once we are here, instead of taking the ladder down, we're going to stay on the high walkway until we get to the rail right here. Make sure you follow it outside, and then we're going to need to power this thing in order to get the room opened up with the next collectible. So make sure you just take this until you get to this area. Once you are here, just do the thing where you hold the A button in front of the obelisk, and that should light things up, allowing us to get passage to where we need to get going next. So make sure you just do that, and then we're going to have a nice good old backtrack back to that initial room where we found the rail in the first place. So just make sure you take the same way that we took to get here but this time going backwards obviously and then once we are back here we're going to keep following the rail this room should now be open allowing you to get access to this chest and then inside is going to be your next golden coin so make sure you grab that one 
Once we have that one, we're going to stick to our theme of underground dark area. So we're going to head back to the overworld so we can hit up the dark tomb next. Fastest way to get back is to go back out onto the bridge and then use your grapple to grapple out here. Then grapple up to the cliffside right here. That should put you back in this corner in front of the entrance to the quarry. We're going to take the top of the bridge down until we can turn right here, and then we're going to go straight. This is going to take you back to the starting point to the previous area, which is going to be the entrance to the well. So instead of heading back down, we're going to either dash or grapple across to get to the wall right here. And then we're going to follow this walkway until it takes us to the area behind this waterfall. And then right next to that is going to be the entrance to the tomb. So make sure you head on inside. It's going to be pretty dark in here, so hopefully you can navigate this A-OK. -okay. But basically, you're going to head straight on inside. And then this is going to take you to a hole in the floor eventually. Make sure you take the ladder down into said hole. And then we're going to try to navigate our best through the darkness. So just make sure you take this all the way down. Once you are back down here, make sure you hang a left. Make sure you take the hallway until you end up at the foot of this staircase right here. Once you are here, we're going to head down and then we're going to turn once we get to this area and then head through this door. Make sure you get across the turrets right here the best you can. And then once the hallway starts turning, you should be in this room. Make sure you go behind this pillar right here on the left side. And then there should be a hallway in this corner. Make sure you try to go in. It's going to turn completely pitch black, but just keep going straight until you get to the A button prompt in order to open up a chest. And then that chest is going to contain our next gold coin. So make sure you pick that one up and then try your best to get out of here. So hopefully you can take the same way back and then reach the surface world A-OK. -okay. Once we are back outside, it's going to be onwards and upwards to the next one. Try to navigate back to the central area where the save point is. And then once we're here, we're going to head in the direction of the forest. So make sure you just head that way. You should be very familiar with this path as you took it to get the sword at the start of the game. But if you need some reminding, you can either take the locked door. You can also go around and then try to dash through the shrubs and then take the series of ladders up and then take the staircase up once you see the compass statue. Nonetheless, once you get to this part of the path, make sure you go into this entrance, which is going to take you to the bottom of the eastern bell tower. Wrap around here and then drop down this hole. And then we're going to then proceed on to the forest. And then we're going to navigate over to the fast travel station. Of course, if you already have the fast travel station unlocked, which you should probably already have, you can also fast travel here if you are too lazy to walk. So take either path. But once you get to said fast travel station, you want to make sure you go over here and then in it to the tree line the screen should extend allowing you to head further down into the forest and then we're going to just keep heading down until we get to the very bottom of the forest and then once we're here we are going to take this path right here we're going to get jumped by some spiders once we cross this little bridge right here you can either fight them or ignore them no matter what you do decide to do, make sure you try to wrap around here and you should be able to turn and then go behind these trees. And then once you are behind them, you should be able to take this lower path down. And then in the front of this area is going to be this treasure chest. And then inside the chest is going to be another gold coin. So make sure you grab that. And then we're going to book it out of here back to the fast travel station. Just like with the rest of the collectibles in this game, I'm going to recommend you save them for the end game once you do have the dash unlocked. That way you can get across places faster. But in addition to that, you should have most of the fast travel stations available already. So make sure you do take advantage of them. For this next one, we are going to need to head over to the Eastern Vault, and I'm going to highly recommend you fast travel there rather than walk there, as the fast travel station is going to put you directly inside the vault and the location of the next coin is going to be in this area. So make sure you take the golden door back out and then make sure you stay on the higher floor. Take this entrance to the save room and then make sure you stay on the higher floor and then go through this entrance. You should be in this big open room. We're going to stay on the higher level and then we're going to sneak past all of the enemies. Once you see this entrance, make sure you head on inside here and then take the staircase down following the rail into this room. Once we are here, we're going to sneak past the enemies and then head behind here, break open all of these barrels, and then you should be able to crawl into this secret closet. And then inside is going to be the chest. And of course, inside that is going to be the next coin. So make sure you grab that. And then that should wrap up this area. So make sure you try to leave the way you came, which I'm going to recommend being the fast travel station. 
The next coin is going to be located in the quarry. I'm going to recommend you fast travel there if you can. If you don't have the fast travel station unlocked, you're going to have to do the long walk either by going through the mountain pass or by going to the western part of the overworld. It shouldn't really matter. It's just going to be more of a time saver if you do fast travel. Nonetheless, once you do get to the quarry, you're going to want to head over to the monastery. So depending on what direction you are coming from, that's going to determine where you need to get going. If you are taking the western entrance or the fast travel station, you're going to want to head up from the mines. If you are taking the mountain pass, you're going to need to head down the series of spiraling staircases. Nonetheless, the monastery is going to be the junction point between these two different directions. So make sure you just try to meet up at it in the middle of the area. So here we are navigating from the fast travel station, which requires us to head through the mines. So we're going to take this set of spiraling staircases back to this area. Make sure you mind the snipers. And then once you finally get here, we're going to take this spiraling staircase up to the higher area right here. And the monastery is going to be at the top of this staircase right here. Once you finally get to the safe point in front of the monastery, make sure you take this ladder up. The treasure chest that you are looking for is going to be directly above you right here. So make sure you wrap around here. Then make sure you grab the lower of the two chests. This is going to be the one that doesn't require you to have the dash to get to. So make sure you pop it open and then grab your next golden coin. So once you take care of that, our next destination is going to be the graveyard, which requires us to get back to the overworld. So make sure you try to get back there whatever way suits your fancy. So you can either take the same way that you took here to get back, or you can use the fast travel station if you have that available to you, or you could take the opposite path. It doesn't really matter as long as you get back to the overworld. I believe the shortest way is to take the mountain pass back, so just make sure you take this way up the spiraling staircase into the clouds and then up this staircase and then just take the long drop down the mountain pass and then this is going to put you back at the top of the overworld and then you can take the eastern side of it down to the entrance of the graveyard. Now once you get to the graveyard, you are going to need to have the dash in order to get in. So make sure you are doing this in the late game when you have the dash available to you. That being said, a bulk of the coins are going to be located in the graveyard. So you definitely want to make sure this is going to be a destination that you get to. So once you get to the bottom right of the overworld, make sure you head down the ladder and then take the bridge down into the graveyard. You can either take the upper path or the lower path. But once you get here, you are going to need to get around the gate. There's going to be two ways to get there. You can either take the pillars or you can take the holes on the right side of the graveyard. Personally, I'm going to recommend you take the pillars as that's going to put you directly in front of the next coin we are going for. So make sure you look for the overturn one and then make sure you use your dash to skip across and then make sure you use these to get over the gate and then make sure you head over to the right and then you're going to drop off right over here on this ledge and then inside this chest is going to be your next golden coin. It's going to be directly above the area with the golden skulls. So make sure you take care of that. Once we have this one taken care of, we are actually going to head down to that location. So make sure you use your dash to get back here. Make sure you stay on the cliff side and then make sure you take this going up. And then once you are able to start heading downhill on this side, make sure you do so. And then once you actually get into the lowest part of the graveyard, you're going to want to look for a very specific tombstone. And then it's going to be this giant one with the cross on it. Open up the chest to the right of it. And then inside here is going to be your next golden coin. So make sure you take care of that. Once we have this golden coin, we're going to take the cliff up and around to get to the other side. So just make sure you head back the way you came and then make sure you head down this time. We are going to take the ladder down and that should put us on the other side of the graveyard. And then once we are here, we're going to make our way up the main path. So just make sure you look for the rail and that should put you back on the road. Make sure you wrap around that gate. There's going to be the obelisk right here that you would use to get into the cathedral. Ignore that and then just keep heading straight until you get to the mountains right here. And then once you hit the mountain face, make sure you go into this corner. You should be able to slide underneath the cliff side right here and then eventually pop out where the water is. And then on this ledge is going to be a chest with your next golden coin and make sure you open it and then we could pocket this one. And then once we have this, we're going to head back up into the mountains. And this time we're actually going to climb up, so make sure you do so. And then just keep following the path until you get up here. 
once you are up here the next coin is going to be down here in this little clearing right here so make sure you pop the chest open and then add this one to your collection and that should be 13 of 15 that we need now as we are down to the last four these next two that are going to be found in the open world are going to be optional as there's going to be an alternative way to get another two because there are going to be 17 available to us and we only need 15 to get the achievement so if you want to get these by finding them, the next one is going to be located in the Western Garden. So make sure you head back to the original save point. And then from here, we're going to head west by heading downstairs, across the bridge, across the shrubs, and then past the windmill. And then we're going to keep heading down until we get to the entrance to the Western Garden, which is going to be past the Western Bell Tower, and then down this flight of ladders. This next one's going to be pretty well hidden, although it's not going to be super far away or anything. So if you know where it is, thankfully you can grab it really quick. Just follow the path until it starts to turn right here. Then make sure you take a right once you get into the open square. And then make sure you continue on the path until you get to this place where you can drop down by taking the ladder. Make sure you do so, which should put you at the rail. Make sure you follow the rail down until you get to the safe point, And then just make sure you look behind that. There should be a square right here where an obelisk is normally. Make sure you wrap around the lower part on the bottom. Hold the A button once you get to this corner of the staircase. And then inside this hidden room should be your next golden coin. Make sure you grab that one. As for the 15th and final one that's going to be found in the open world, this one can be found once you get to the cathedral. So this one's going to require that you either get here during the story when you are playing as a ghost or coming back here once you have the bed in the old house unlocked so you can fall asleep to turn the game to nighttime. But you're going to want to navigate through the cathedral as you normally would and then once you get to a very specific room which is going to be the room with the bird cages which is going to be right after this flight of stairs right here. So once you get to the room with the bird cages, just make sure you head straight down and you want to make sure you look in the upper corner at the far end. And then there's going to be another hidden door here that you can open by holding the A button directly in front of it. Once you pop it open in this secret room is going to be another chest. Open that one up and then you should have all 15 golden coins known to exist in the open world. Now, if for whatever reason you want to skip any of these coins, there's going to be an additional two available in any one of the shops. The closest shop is obviously going to be the one in the windmill. So from the starting save point, make sure you take a left and then head inside the windmill. And then in the back room, there should be a shop right here. Just make sure you buy the coins like any other item. They are going to be on the pricey side as they are going to cost 999 monies per coin. So get to grinding if you really want to get these from the shop. But nonetheless, once you have 15 coins by any method, you're going to want to take all of these with you to a wishing well. There is going to be a wishing well close by the starting area. It's going to be underneath the old house. So from the windmill as a reference, you want to make sure you take the ladder down, which is going to put you in front of the old house. And then you're going to want to head to the right side and that should allow you to take this path going down to this corner. The wishing well is going to be right here. In order to make a wish, you need to make sure you open up your inventory, make sure you equip the coins like any other item, and then make sure you press whatever button you have the coins mapped to in front of the well. You should throw it in and then make a wish. After you make your first one, you should be good for the nothing happened achievement for 10 gamer score. Keep making wishes until you blow all 15 of your coins, and then once you have made 15 wishes, you should be good for the other achievement in the set. So just keep mashing that button and keep chucking those coins in. Once we hit 15 coins, we should be good for the well done achievement for another 10 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.